All right, guys, so we just pulled up on a huge gator. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going gator diving. So we're heading there right now to <laughs> stop laughing. I'm with my friend Charles right now in the passenger seat. He is going to help me in the water to be a second pair of eyes because Number one, I don't recommend doing this unless you have some sort of experience with alligators. And even for somebody with experience, you should have an extra set of eyes. The more people, the better. But again, this is not something that I recommend you doing at home. So kids, other people watching, don't try this at home. Hopefully we'll find some alligators today. Sometimes you see a lot, sometimes you see a little bit, but we always end up finding all sorts of turtles, sometimes pythons, other water snakes, just a bunch of Florida native and invasive wildlife. So it should be a really good time out there. It's gonna take us about 30 or 40 minutes to drive to the spot. Get a drive right now, maybe get some breakfast, and then we will be in the water. All right, so we just got some breakfast, went to the butcher shop, fresh orange juice, you know how we do it, gotta get our Cuban coffee. So now that we got our breakfast, we're ready to head up. See you guys there. All right guys, so we have made it out here to the Florida Everglades. Now, if you look over here, we just have this vast grassland. This is kind of the area we're gonna be swimming. There's an area down the canal that has overhanging trees. So we are gonna be more in that area where the canal kind of gets tighter and all of the wildlife moves through one smaller area. But just take a look at what we have going on here. Basically all up to the north here is just Everglades, thousands and thousands of miles of pristine swamp land. This area here is absolutely perfect for alligators. There's actually one sitting, he's sitting right there off the tip of my finger, his head's just sticking out of the water. Perfectly camouflaged. I mean, from far away, you would never even see that guy. He'll sit there, wait on the bank, and hunt birds like this cormorant we have coming in here. If that bird was to land right there, he would be lunch for that alligator. So hopefully down the way, we'll find more alligators just like that guy sitting there. Sorry if it's a little windy and you can't hear me too well. Gonna get in the car right now and see what we can find. All right guys, so we are at the area where we are gonna be swimming. And oh, look at that big gator right there. Oh, he's just moving back. Oh, there she is. Look at her swimming right through there. Big beautiful alligator right there. So this is the area that we are gonna be getting into the water. It's pretty shallow, but the water is crystal clear this time of year, which is amazing. This area right here is a little too shallow. So we're gonna keep heading down the road and try to find a little bit deeper spot for us to get in the water. All right, so we just got to the spot where we're gonna dive. If you look right there, there's a bunch of gar. There's, it looks like a thousand, they're just, all schooled up all throughout here so i don't see any gators here there could be one just underneath the surface but we're gonna jump in right here and swim around with these guards and show you guys just how many there are we're all suited up and ready to go we're wearing wetsuits because it is a little bit cold right now this is the camera that we're going to be using underwater charles brought his crazy underwater rig so we should be able to catch some really cool shots with this charles is going to get all that ready and then we're going to hop in the water
right guys, so we just jumped in with those guards and as Charles was filming through them trying to get some cool shots, there was a gator literally sitting right there on the floor and we didn't even see it when we pulled up because the gar were all on top of it and it's kind of dark with all the trees overhanging. So we got some cool shots with it. Super, super stoked to see a gator here and it's really cool to come up on them on surprise. Sometimes you see them on the surface and then we know we're jumping in with a gator, but it's really cool to just pull up on one. This guy's like seven, maybe eight feet. So he moved back into this little area over here. He's sitting right under here and um, yeah, he's just kind of hanging out and we got some more shots of him but he kind of kicked some dust up so we're gonna wait a little bit let that dust settle and then try to swim with him again there isn't really audio in the dive housing so wanted to update you here and then charles is gonna continue filming in the housing So we got back in, but the alligator dipped out on us. So we're gonna keep going down the road and look for another one to swim with. We just pulled up on a stork. Look at that. What's up, little dude? So we're still looking for more gators. We haven't seen any. We've drove like 15 minutes down the road and I really don't know if we're gonna see anything. Hopefully we find another one but even just seeing that one was already amazing. So we're gonna keep looking and hop into another spot and see what we can get. All right guys, so we just pulled up on a huge gator. I can't wait to jump in. He's sitting on land right now, but we're gonna try to get him in the water and get to dive with him. guys so we saw the one big gator she actually just sunk right down as we thought and got some really nice shots of her so on that note we're gonna head home glad Charles and I stayed safe today and nobody got hurt it was a great day out here in the Everglades please subscribe if you are new to the channel hit that like button if you thought this video was cool and stay around for the next adventure more videos coming soon